first time your children have been away from home. Children in grief are often the lost grievers. Uh, people, parents grieve, uh, spouses grieve, but children aren't always uh, allowed to grieve or people don't know that children do grieve. Ready? Yes. Camp Evergreen is a camp for children who have experienced uh, significant loss in their life as a result of death. So it's a camping experience, which is fun, and at the same time, they're uh, working in small groups and large groups dealing with the issues of grief and loss. I think it's important to the campers because they can come together with other campers, with other adults, their buddies, and to realize that death and dying is very much a part of life, that they're not alone in that, that they're not the only ones who have experienced the death of someone very special in their lives, that they're going to be okay through it all. One of the biggest things the kids learn is that they, there are a lot of other children their age and children every age that are going through the same thing that they're going through and have lost loved ones and we try to help them deal with it and we try to show them ways to deal with it. What are the three things you can't do when you're angry? It's you don't hurt yourself, you don't hurt anyone else, and you don't hurt anything. But what we taught you is that there's lots of other things you can do. You can go to your room and maybe stomp or hit the pillow or find something like a sponge ball. And see, a sponge ball won't hurt anything, will it? But if you took a baseball and threw it, what would happen? You'd bust something. So you don't want to do it that way. I think it helps them understand that uh, their uh, feelings are OK and they're not right or wrong. They're just feelings. And it's how you, how you deal with them, and, and it just gives them the feeling of having the one-on-one, -on -one, the adult buddy, the camper uh, uh, interaction, which I'm not sure a lot of them get at home because the parents are grieving along with them. Well, I came to the camp because my mom died, and I thought it would be a good experience for me. People who lost their loved ones recently, they probably haven't had an uh, easy time getting over that, so just having someone to talk to probably helped a lot. It's helped me quite a bit. It's helped me in ways so I, I can talk to other people and I'm with other people that have the same kind of grief as me. I was really sad when I came, but now I'm thinking that the world will go on. It's not, you know, it's not gonna stop. Go to Camp Everbrain. It's fun. It'll make you feel better. I know he's in a great place, my brother, that's who died. So I know he's gonna be all right, so I feel better. volunteers make Camp Evergreen possible. Without all these volunteers, uh, it just would not be Camp Evergreen. Um, we just really rely on the generosity of people from the community, their time, their talents, their interests, giving of themselves. Um, what's really special about our camp and all the volunteers that helped to make it possible. It's important to the volunteers because uh, many of them have their own grief stories and uh, they have felt supported in the past, some of them by this camp. Uh, we have volunteers coming back who were at one time campers going through their own grief and bereavement issues. So it supports uh, the volunteers in a very special way and it gives them an opportunity to give back. I decided to come volunteer here because I was a camper here about four years ago and I had a wonderful experience so I thought I could give back. The most valuable thing I get out of it is um, companionship with my little buddy and knowing that I'm able to help her through her grieving process. I can't really speak for the other volunteers but for myself it brings a um, sense of balance to my own life to be involved in this type of activity. For me it allows me to give back to the community and hospice especially because they helped me so much during when I was having a difficult time with my mom's death. You have a big buddy so you can talk to him or her about your problem or whatever you need to talk to them about. My buddy's great. Right? She's over there. I like him too. He teaches me how to play games. Okay. What's your favorite thing about him? Um, he's my buddy.
symbolism of the evergreen tree just has become our symbol for camp. The, the tree remains green throughout the whole entire year. When needles fall from the tree and die and fall to the ground, new needles take their place. Um, that um, the, the needles nourish the ground and bring forth new life. And so it really speaks to us in the whole cycle of, of life and death and in life again. It also is a symbol of hope for us and a symbol that um, the memories that the children have really do not die, but, but they live on. And that in coming here and normalizing their grief and finding out how to handle their grief, that life can be good and it, it can be renewing. When we have joys we yearn to share, we, we will remember, remember them. them. So as long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them.